All right, spring is around the corner. So I decided to do something different and give you guys a wardrobe capsule for the spring. So if you want to know what a wardrobe capsule is and some ideas on how to build one for the spring, stay tuned. Alrighty, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, I want to do a wardrobe capsule. So we're going to get into that. Before we start talking about that, let's go ahead and take care of some business. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Felicia. Here on my channel, I do fashion, beauty, and as well as some sneaker content. So if you're into those type of things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am on my way to 1K and I would love if you would help me to get there. So hit that subscribe button. Also turn on the notification bell so you will know every time I drop a new video. And I like to talk. I message back. You can ask anybody in this that's one of my subscribers, one of my friend, friend girls, and they will tell you that if they leave a comment, I am responding back. So I love interaction. So go ahead, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and let's talk. Now, like I said, I want us to do something different this time and give you guys a spring capsule. If you're not familiar with what a, a wardrobe capsule is, it's basically where you take um a few pieces from your um wardrobe or you buy some pieces and you work around building outfits for that capsules are more so outfit centered as opposed to where you um, build your closet or you're getting your closet or your wardrobe basics and those are more so about building a whole wardrobe so in order, the reason that people would do this is because maybe you had a change in weight, you lost your game, you may have developed a new style, a new season like spring is coming, uh, maybe you have a new career change, and so you need to kind of change your budget, your your wardrobe around. However, you don't want to go out and just buy a lot of different pieces. I think building a capsule or a wardrobe castle capsule is a great way to kind of start fresh and do that and so that's what i have done here now a few tips for doing this if you have no idea where to start pinterest is great you can go on pinterest and they'll give you all kind, all kind of ideas and capsule ideas and you can look from that and pull what you want to get from that also just looking in your closet you all don't necessarily have to go out and buy new clothes unless you just want to do a complete um overhaul of your wardrobe you can go and pull and dig from there and also you want to keep in mind that this is a outfit based type thing so you don't want to go and get things that just won't coordinate and work together you don't have to be super matchy matchy but you also want to make sure that you can mix and match I recommend getting more tops than bottoms so that way you can you can mix and match even more that way if you have a bunch of bottoms and you don't have no tops then what you're gonna do so for this capsule I have 16 pieces I went with four four bottoms I have two dresses and um eight tops I guess you can say I also added some jackets most capsules they will add jackets shoes accessories the whole nine Right now, I just want to focus on the clothing part of it. So basically, when it comes to the clothes, when it comes to your bottoms, you want to keep in mind what your lifestyle is. So for me, I work um, in an office. However, we don't have a dress code. We are basically come as you are or come casual to work. That's what it is. Come comfortable. So for me, I have more jeans in my capsule. I have two pair of jeans in my capsule and what I decided to do, although we don't really have a dress code, a dress code, I don't wear distressed jeans. So I have one pair of jeans that's kind of just a basic pair of jeans and then I also chose a pair of distressed jeans. That way I have a pair of jeans for the weekends. So if you're building a capsule, grab you some jeans if you can, you know, you want to think about your lifestyle and what you're doing. So if you know that you work in an office and you have a business casual type of dress code, you wouldn't put multiple pair of jeans in your capsule. You will put more, you will probably add two pair of work pants and I would say get a basic pair and maybe something of a print or something like that. But two pair of dress pants or slacks and you probably would do maybe one pair of jeans and then another casual pair of pants. 
So I did two pair of jeans. And I also just did a casual pair of pants because we are going into spring. So these are like some cargo joggers. I can wear these to work, but I can also wear these on the weekend or if I'm going down for that, if I have something to do, I have that. And then I went with just a pair of black pants, which I highly recommend in building a capsule. So you want to have a pair of jeans and maybe a pair of black denim. These are like your point knit, which can also work. I think that having a, black, a pair of basic black pants in your wardrobe castle just gives you more room and more uh, flexibility with your outfits. Next, I added two dresses. Because we are going into the spring, I went for this black tank dress or just a basic black dress. It don't have to be a tank dress, but I do recommend a basic black dress if you're going to build a capsule. And you can find a black dress very inexpensive different places. This dress is old. Everything that I'm showing you was already in my closet. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. And if you've been following me, you know, in my last video, I said that. I don't know if I said it. So for Lent, I gave up shopping, child. I told y'all I wasn't going to be doing a lot of shopping, but I gave up shopping for Lent. So everything is in there. But for spring, I decided, you know, I think a nice floral print dress will work. Now, you don't, again, you can do this however you want, but just a cute dress. I could wear this to work. I could wear this for brunch on the weekend, casual, whatever, and I can wear it with multiple things. So those are things that you want to keep in mind. Can I wear, you know, think about being able to be flexible with it. You don't want to pick a dress where you can only wear heels or dress shoes. Get a dress that you can play with up and dress it up, dress it down, casual to work on the weekend, whatever. And I think these two styles fit that. And then also, you want to be creative with your capsule. So I can take this actually and pair it with that and wear it, wear this shirt dress over the black dress as like a jacket situation or something like that. You want to be able to layer and play with your clothes with the items that you have, especially if you're trying to build a wardrobe. You're already deal dealing with a limited amount, so you want to be able to play with your clothes, be creative. You want to layer them, and you want to try to restyle them as many ways as you can. So, next, I did add jackets, and so I thought that a denim jacket and a blazer would be great for a capsule. Again, two pieces that you can play with you can style in many different ways you can wear these on the weekends you can wear them to work i would say go for a oversized blazer more so than a tailored blazer and the reason that i say that is because with an oversized blazer you can tend to have more ways to style it and you can have a little bit more fun with it it's easier to style that way so that's that and then if you have a business casual you got your blazer so now we're going to get into the shirts. And like I said, when you're doing this, you want to have multiple shorts, shirts. So because I had four bottoms, I decided to go with, I think it should be eight shirts. I think that's eight. I'll be counting off. And so for the shirts, I did a denim shirt. Again, you want to think about shirts that you can style multiple ways. You can lay them. You can wear them with all of your bottoms. Or most of your bottoms. Now, sometimes you might have an item that won't necessarily go with everything. You don't want to throw that out or not add it to your capsule. You just want to be mindful that with that, you won't be able to play with it as much. So, I did a denim shirt. I think a denim shirt is great for a capsule because you can do so many things with a denim shirt. I can wear this open. I can wear this with, you know, as a shirt itself with my black jeans or i can wear it with the dress and wear it open i can also wear it with these joggers so therefore you kind of see how it goes you have a piece of you know with the shirts you want to be able to kind of wear them with all of your items and so i did uh oh i got stuff out of order And so, and you also, again, want to think about your activities, your lifestyle, and what you have going on. So, I did a denim shirt. 
I also did a screen tee because I think like I love screen tees. So to find one, this is something that's inexpensive, but you will also be able to play with it and wear it with multiple things. I did a lightweight sweater for the spring and I also chose a sweater that was like a lighter color because this is a spring style. So just a lightweight sweater that I can wear to work. I can wear it on the weekends. I can wear it if I'm going somewhere, going out. I have that. And then I have two basic shirts. So this is a long sleeve white basic tee. And then I chose this um, stripy shirt, which again will go with multiple things. I could wear this. Only thing I would say, I wish that this shirt was a bit fitted. I would get a more fitted shirt. But I can still wear this with my jeans. A stri I think a black and white striped shirt is great for the spring anyway. But for building this wardrobe capsule, having it in my capsule, I can wear it under my denim shirt, my denim jacket. I can wear it with my joggers, my black jeans, my regular jeans. I can style it with this dress some kind of way. I can make it work. So... This is what I'm saying. When you pick your items, you want to be able to add up, wear different things and add it to it. Now, I chose all of my pieces from a curvy or a plus size spring capsule. I kind of snatch ideas from that. I'll be sure to show it or link it. I don't want to forget to add a more dressier shirt to your capsule. And so I chose this shirt and it has like this lace sleeve. You've seen this shirt before in um, previous videos. I wore this shirt and my Christmas dress up, dressing up, dress, the holiday party outfit ideas video with the leggings. So this shirt, I think it's a great spring shirt. I got it on inside out, but that's fine. It's a great spring shirt because it has this lace and it's lightweight. But again, I could wear it with my blazer. I could wear it with the black pants. I could wear it with jeans. Now I wouldn't wear it with this uh jogger but i can at least get maybe two or three wears out of it with the jeans yeah with the jeans and the black pants i can wear it like that and then i also added two sweatshirts i did a bright spring color with the yellow and then i also went with a more printed sweatshirts because i personally like wearing sweatshirts and here in um, Chicago or Indiana, where I'm at, the weather is still fluctuating. So, you know, you can still, in the spring, you can still get away with wearing sweatshirts. And I feel like with these colors, I can wear, I can wear this with my jeans. I can wear this with my joggers, the uh, cargo joggers. I could wear this maybe with the black, not really sure. But I know I can definitely wear this with the black jeans my regular jeans, the cargo joggers. I could wear this over that black dress and, and wear the dress as a skirt. And so I have multiple ways of wearing it. So that is it. I hope it gave you guys some ideas. I've had a few people ask me like, you know, I need to build my closet or how can I build my closet? I think creating a capsule is a great way to do it. And so here it is. You have almost... You can probably get you can probably do a month's wear of outfits with this, just mix and match and plan and turn it around. You can definitely get a couple of weeks out of it. I did something like this when I used to do just blogs where I took a few pieces and I wore them for the week. And my coworkers didn't even realize that I was wearing the same clothes. So if that's what you're concerned about, I can tell you now. I guarantee you people aren't paying that much attention. Now, if you're doing like content you might have to play with a little bit better but who cares where would you want to wear anyway so you wear what's in your budget and you wear what's in your closet okay okay so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and like and subscribe let me know what you think about this capsule if you think this is a great idea and if this is something that you think you would do and i'll see you in my next video bye